Okay. Um, weapon retention three or four. It's going to be the next video in the series. Basically, what we're covering at this point, we're going to cover how to present the weapon and how to effectively uh, address a target directly behind you, probably on your back. There's some issues with grappling and weapon retention that have came up that we have to specifically address. First and foremost, if somebody is on your back, you understand being a somewhat experienced grappler that there's a specific threat um, to your weapon. The first one being that he can grab your weapon from the exact same angle that the officer himself actually grabs it. When a person takes your back, most uh, recruits are able to tell that they can articulate how dangerous it is for a person to get on their back and sink their hooks in and basically essentially backpack them, okay? Um, they're able to stick with them, not to mention they may be able to take their feet, sweep their foot to the back, and basically limit the officer's ability to even retain his own weapon. So what we're doing is, is we're covering just immediately getting the weapon out, addressing the target on your back, and how to effectively do it without getting the weapon turned on yourself. So right here... Uh, my, my suspect has got my back. He's got hooks in. He is here. Okay, he may be seat belting me for whatever reason here. We're turned this way. If my pistol is on my right hand side, notice his hook. Throw your hook off for one second. His hook. Let's twist. My pistol is going to be right here in this general area. Okay, I don't have my holster on, but it'll be right here. If he's got his hooks in, most likely. His leg is going to be resting over the top of my holster, going to be making it very difficult for me to even get it out. There's a couple things that he can do right here. He can pretty effectively take his right hook and trap my arm, okay, behind my back, all right? If he's able to lock his leg down, I now don't have any ability to get to my pistol. He now has the ability to use his right hand to go ahead and start working down at my holster area to get my pistol out. So we don't want to allow that. That's not what we want to do. We want to basically take any opportunity that we've got to go ahead and get the pistol out the second that they get to our back. So assuming that my pistol is on my hip right here, what I'm going to basically have to do, I'm going to drop my foot and come up underneath. When that, hip is, when that pistol is exposed, I'm just going to draw it. I'm not saying any specific position that you have to be in to get it. We just want to get it out before he tries to trap my hand, okay? Basically where I'm going to have to come from right here is I'm going to come right here, both hands. I'm going to make a solid grip over the pistol. His hands are still here and they're still available. This pistol is going to come directly underneath my left ear, okay? Or it's going to come under my right ear, wherever I'm at. I don't want it to be out here. I don't want to try to do this out here with one hand because he can grab the pistol and now turn it to my head. He can do all different types of things from under here. So I want both hands, positive grip on the pistol, and I'm bringing it directly underneath my lower part of my chin and under my ear. Okay, and you can probably see if the camera pans around, you can probably see the angle at which the pistol is stuck here. Even if he's trying to hide, I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's probably going to be a pretty, pretty bad day for him, okay? I can come straight back up and back up underneath here, all right? And it's pretty difficult for him to completely avoid the muzzle back here, even if it's directly underneath the back of my chin. Now, if I place it underneath the side of my head where the muzzle is away, even if he goes to grab it before I can actually pull the trigger, it's very difficult for him to move that pistol toward my head because there's just no room. The pistol's essentially basically re resting up against the back of my head. Now, of course, this is the worst case scenario, but what we're trying to do here is basically safely be able to address a, dread a deadly threat from behind us. He can choke, he can do any number of things, and we don't, we're not able to accurately assess um, this guy's skill level. So we safely want to be able to address him, pull the pistol up underneath the back of your your chin here, lock it in to where there's no room for the muzzle to get turned into your head. Go ahead and address your threat and move on.